Why are we in this position? Why are we here? Last week, we discovered with very clear terms that Dr. Fauci misled Americans during questioning from Rand Paul in two different health committee hearings. Dr. Fauci said on May 11, 2021, quote, with all due respect, you are entirely and completely incorrect, speaking to Dr. Paul, that the NIH has not ever and does not now fund gain-of-function research at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. And later, quote, I will repeat again, the NIH and the NIAID categorically has not funded gain-of-function research to be conducted in the Wuhan Institute of Virology. In the July 11, 2021 hearing, Fauci said, Senator Paul, I have never lied before the Congress, and I do not retract that statement. This paper that you were referring to was judged by qualified staff up and down the chain as not being gain of function. But what do we now know? We know that NIH did, in fact, fund gain of function research at the Wuhan lab. EcoHealth Alliance manipulated a coronavirus to generate up to 10,000 times the viral load, violating provisions of its National Institutes of Health contract that forbade unregulated research that could make a disease significantly more dangerous or transmissible. That quote was in the right-wing conspiracy media paper, Roll Call. My Republican colleagues in the Oversight Committee received a letter from NIH that confirmed that EcoHealth Alliance, which received money from NIAID, violated the terms of their NIH grant because they, they made the virus more deadly to humanized mice. In a September letter to me, Dr. Fauci said that because the research at Wuhan was not anticipated to be gain of function, it was approved. But why, then, did the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agencies, known in this town as DARPA, reject similar research due to gain-of-function concerns? The NIH had a definition of gain-of-function on its webpage, which was available as recently as October 19th, just a couple of days ago. It has now been changed entirely. Why would it be changed? Why would the NIH change their gain of function web pages this week? Could it be that Dr. Fauci was caught last week in his exchange by Dr. Rand Paul, my friend, and the senator? Now they don't even say gain of function research on the website, they took it off. It now says EPPP research. Now it says instead of the term gain-of-function research describes a type of research that modifies a biological agent so that it confers a new or enhanced activity to that agent. It now says, on limited occasions, when justified by compelling public health need and conducted in very high biosecurity laboratories, NIH has supported certain research that may be reasonably anticipated to create transfer or use. Come on. You want to know why the American people don't believe their government? They shouldn't. They shouldn't, Madam Speaker. They shouldn't believe the lies that are coming out of our national health leaders that are endangering the American people as Dr. Fauci's lies have been doing for the better part of 18 months. Why trust an NIH that is, by definition, not being truthful? Even if Dr. Fauci wants to hide behind the technicalities of the definitions of gain of function, why couldn't he, with an ounce of humility, and even an ounce of humility, go before the Senate committee and say, you know what, Senator Paul? I am troubled by how much funding has been going into these research efforts at the Wuhan Institute. You know what, Dr. Paul? I've got concerns because I didn't know for sure what EcoHealth Alliance was doing. But here's the problem with that. An NIH spokesperson told Vanity Fair that Dr. Fauci was, quote, entirely truthful in his statements to Congress. Oh, thank you, NIH spokesperson. And that he did not have the progress report that detailed the controversial research at the time he testified in July. Okay, pause. At this point, I would at least expect the good Dr. Fauci to have the humility to say, hey, this is troubling. 
I don't know that our research led to COVID-19, but I know that we've been funding now, I know now, we've been funding research that is in the zip code, in the zip code of gain of function. DARPA wouldn't even do it. The arrogance of this guy is that he's never going to admit that. He doesn't want to admit that he's wrong. He doesn't want to admit that NIH is neck deep in this stuff. Because it's just straight up arrogance. And that's why the American people have had it. And they don't believe him. And they don't believe NIH. But it goes on further. EcoHealth Alliance appeared to contradict that claim. And said in a statement, quote, These data were reported as soon as we were made aware. In our year four report in April of 2018. Now, let me be clear, as a former federal prosecutor, I don't know the facts. I don't know if EcoHealth presented that data in 2018. We'll look into it. That's my job here. But I can promise you one thing. My Democratic colleagues on the other side of the aisle aren't going to look into it because they don't care. Because this has never been about health. This has never been about the truth. This has always been about power. Well, rather than just focusing on the NIH, why don't we take, take a minute to focus on the CDC? Another one of these august national health organizations to which we're supposed to bow down and say, please tell me what I must do for my own health and the well-being of my family. After facing backlash for saying the federal government was looking into a vaccine mandate, the CDC director, Walensky, took to Twitter to say there would be no federal vaccine mandate on July 30th, 2021. I guess President Biden didn't get the memo.